Oh, wow, there's so many things, I guess. I think a lot has been written about her and said about her since her death. Um, but for me, who had the opportunity and the privilege to get to know her personally, I think the aspect that stands out is really the, the, the energy that she lived life with and, and the passion that she did things with. Um, I think if she laughed, she laughed in a way that people could hear her, maybe even from the house next door. Um, but in particular, when she worked, she worked hard and she went um, and lived life with dedication. And that somehow, I think, had a similar effect on those around her. It has kind of literally turned my life upside down for, for 10 years. It's, it's been a terrible period um, and it's really not been an easy time for me. Specifically, I think the thing that strikes me most about, um, about all of this is the loss of time. Um, most of all, I spent days, weeks, months, years if you add it up, um, in courtrooms and consulting with lawyers and forensic experts while you know, my friends and other people in their 20s went on and you know, did other things and got married and made friends and so on. There's definitely a much bigger risk for, for a wrong outcome for people who do not have the ability to, to defend themselves in the way that I was privileged to be able to do. If I think of how close it was for me to actually end up in that situation, um, and before the international experts testified on my behalf, things were, were looking very dim for me. Um, and so I could have been in prison as an innocent person, so it's difficult to rule out the possibility that there are other people who have not been as fortunate as, as I've been. Oh. Do you think that we'll ever know who murdered Inga? Obviously, you want that person to be found. I, I hear you, but I think what I've had to deal with personally is not relying on that for, um, for me to move on. And so I dealt with that in the sense that I've almost made peace with the fact that whether that person is found or not um, will not define my status as being innocent of this crime. Um, so I carry on living um, a life of moving forward um, and obviously viewing myself as innocent of this crime but also assuming that the people around me and people involved in my life do not wait for the actual perpetrator to be found before they make up their mind about me. Um, and so that is a liberating way of looking at it because if I were depending on the real perpetrator to be found before I would believe that other people actually think I'm innocent, then that again creates this very almost unhealthy type of relationship that I have with people. I have to recognize that there were a number of people that did things that, that affected my life in a very negative way. I mean, that, that almost goes without saying. Um, but at the same time, what I did experience was a lot of people that did extraordinary things in my support or in, in, in support of my defense. It's helped me to see the good in people again. And the experiences I had from, from those that supported me helped me to keep my faith in, in the character of people in general, by, definitely. Um, so. I, I can honestly say I'm, I'm not bitter um, and that outweighs to a large extent um, the, the negative experience I had around, around the actions of some other people. Yeah.